Hello everyone and welcome back to Life is Strange. Hardik here. My gun. Here you go, Frank. Ha <laughs> ha. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. Aww. I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Oh my god. Forward and keep the world out. We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, man? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. That's not a I'm safe sorry. place to be lying, kids. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for real? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just oh. made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Yeah. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has... A great eye for images and for art. Hmm. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. Aww. She must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. I don't know, it just makes me nervous I with them lying there. Good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Uh oh. Oh. Come on. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. The train's coming! 
come on, come on. Yep. So I really don't want to have to see that. Come on, Max. But which wire to cut? Oh my gosh. Get me out of here. Yes, I did it. Whoa. You okay? You saved me again. Oh my gosh. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice I knew that spot? I knew that was a bad cool Oh my gosh. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers <laughs> might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you don't save someone's life twice in two days. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, <laughs> your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Huh? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm what? for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Aww. Aww. See, this game's going pretty quick. I have a feeling we're closing in on the end of this episode. I mean, as in episode two. Since the major event that I know of for episode two was the... Oh, we got the Halloween. It was that, the trade tracks, or the two big ones. So, I can do some wandering. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. No. No. He does care. <laughs> I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Score some weed from Nathan. Think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? Aww. Thoughtful yet confused. Aww. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. <laughs> that either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. We'll try sodium. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Get ready. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Yeah. Blue Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for. I have to add either a bit of potato. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. 
If this works, you get a free hug. He's got such a crush. Weird science. <clears throat> yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Bring me the brain, Gore. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking me for half daddy. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shit. <coughs> Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. <laughs> She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do. You have to so talk you to can't me, help me? I'm trying. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Oh, it's the cool teacher. Me. I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between uh. David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked Poor out Kate. about this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Mm. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. Uh. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hmm? Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Both. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn left. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting Show at her desk? Love. Oh, I'm sure Hi, she'll I report us Taylor. to the principal. Do you look like Like us? I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Oh. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Oh. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. <laughs> Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Assholes. Yep.
Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Uh-oh. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Uh-oh. She has a lot on her plate. I didn't know uh -oh. what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody uh -huh. else sit down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Oh. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usual. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Ah. For people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they need to take a good look at themselves. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves huh. for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was Oh my gosh. Up, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in monochrome. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Everybody remain seated. This of course. Of course. Oh my gosh. Oh. Do we manage to pause it? Oh my gosh. And they're smiling. Is this like a fixed point? Going, Max. You can do it. Come on. Can we get there? Yes. Doing here, Max. Stop. Don't come. 
near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself. Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I know. I've watched you do it I'm twice. Right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Hey, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. Oh my I gosh. Help by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I hope I, I worried word that right. To you on the phone. Oh my gosh. I always feel like you really uh, listen. Well, I, yeah. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. Come on. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. Oh. We will find out who did this. That's and not make the You sound so persuasive, Max. Only. Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video oh my gosh. Day, and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I jump. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. Exactly. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Oh. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She I hope I grabbed that one. Has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No. No. I tried. I tried so hard. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Oh. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Coffee. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? 
Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Oh, gosh. Where do we go with this? I think we'll go ahead and continue this in the next episode. We will stop it here and just start the next one at this. I think. I'm going to go ahead and keep recording, but if you see this cut into another video, you know why. It just went long. Um... Let's go with the truth. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan ghosted her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. Field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit! Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him. Oh! Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. Mommy? But I think I can use my power again. We'll go with that one because David, I think David was grilling her because of the video. Eh, I don't remember Jefferson doing anything well, about I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Uh. All right. We'll literally end it right there. I think. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Ugh. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Whoa. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no yeah. logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. There is. Proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. Now, I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. So weird. So 
so weird. Feels so bad. Poor Jefferson. Oh gosh, pedo. Pedo, gosh, they're all of eight, they're all of their own age. But you know what I mean. It's a freaking druggie. Drugger. I tried. I tried. So hard. I just answered everything wrong. Huh. 